Welcome in to the Hungry Popper. Thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Um, we are going to put together or cook, however you want to say it, some sweet and sour. And you could put that with almost anything. Now, in my house, that recipe used to be paired with um, leftover chicken. If you'd send me to the store for deli chicken or, uh, you know, the, uh, the whole chicken roasted thing, and she would take the um, chicken off of the bones, whatever. So, so I'm making this sweet and sour recipe so you can put whatever meat you want with it whatever chicken pork steak meatballs pork meatballs beef meatballs mixture of both whatever whatever <laughs> your chicken however you want if you want to bake some up in the oven and then um, separate it if you want to get um, popcorn chicken and bake that up and put this over that no judgment here on my part because I'm just as busy as you are so there we are now I'll, I'll put some of that in the oven here after a minute we'll sit up there for right now so I've got <clears throat> I got some oil heating in the skillet right here and it needs to be turned down um, just a little bit here. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna start with, um, so what I, I've got snow peas, I've got carrots, and I've got something different that I thought would be, you know, it, was, it always was broccoli, so I thought <clears throat> we're gonna shake it up a notch and we're gonna use, um, shaved Brussels sprouts. Something different, right? We always want something different. Every one of us, I know that for a fact, we all want something different. So I've got some grapeseed oil warmed up in here and there is about a cup of bell pepper um, <clears throat> and there's about a cup of red onions. So let's put them in there and get them going and by golly, that's, that's a hot skillet. So let me get my, um, oh, there's the other, that'll work, my other stick to cook with and get that going here for you. So red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red onions. And by the way, I was just at Target over there on Delaware in Ankeny here. And they have Vidalia onions, guys. They have Vidalia onions. Now, I don't like those as good as the other brand of sweet onion that I was getting in Nashville, but they're good too. They are very good onions, but I thought this recipe would be better with the red onions. So that's what I, that's what I put in here. So the vegetables there are parboiling and I've been snacking on the ones that have been sitting here while I've been getting the stuff ready so there they are I've got um, pineapple uh, cut up here fresh pineapple time to get it used up and to take the place of the juice that's in the can excuse me I have just 100% um, pineapple juice and we'll put this in there so the oil and the pineapple juice, that will all make a nice sauce also. And I've got brown sugar to put in there. A quarter teaspoon each of cumin, paprika, and I don't have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, but there's a little bit in there. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, get that going in there with it. That's kind of the spices that I kind of like. That's not going to hurt the 
stopped by. I appreciate you. So our veggies are coming to a boil here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're just gonna throw a little saute on these veggies here and then we'll start adding the rest of our stuff. It won't take long. This will be some pretty uh, pretty decent uh, dibbles if you that to run over on the so you're gonna find that this here this sweet and sour recipe is great for just about any any like I said meatballs chicken unbreaded chicken um, you know it's good stuff I'll tear your shoulder so by the way I had my dollar fifty chef knife and I accidentally hit you know the, the metal staple on the end of a roll of breakfast sausage. I accidentally hit that one day, broke the edge. So I went down there to the um, Salvation Army thrift store and got me another dude, guys. And it's it's even better than the one I just brewed. So there you go. Let me get some of that out on there. Because this is going to be my supper here just as soon as the videotaping is all done. This is what I'm going to have. So let's get a few pieces of um, chicken out here. And that is that is a heat plenty for me for supper right now, I'll tell you. So let's get a better Ziploc bag since I just... Um, Mess that one up. There we go. Okay, so our onion and peppers and stuff are looking pretty good here. So let's um set this over here. Start putting stuff together here. Let's um turn that off. And let's go ahead and get the uh, brown sugar in here. There we go. There's that. Does it ever bother you to have sugar between your fingers? I don't care for myself. So there's that. I got those. Let's put her in there because it needs some pineapple juice in there. This is just one of those, um, what is it, eight ounce can. So let's get that going. All we need is a quarter cup of ketchup. This is one time it's okay to get shook about things. We're gonna be just fine, guys. Let's put her in there, call her good. Um, and let's put some garlic in there. What is that? Uh, three quarters of a teaspoon. Let's put it in there. I'll have a recipe listed on the comment section for you guys. So, so we're going to get this going good and then we're going to put those, we're going to drain the veggies and put them in here too. See, this is a really quick thing for right after work. So let's shake that up and get the mother put in there. And we're going to put us about a quarter cup, put about that much in there. Got to have some vinegar in there with that pineapple juice and all that to get it, to get it looking and tasting right. So that smells pretty good. There. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, so, get this up to temperature, then we'll add those veggies in here. So, 
I don't know about y'all, but I love these snow peas. I absolutely love snow peas. Um, there's something fresh about them. Did you ever uh, grow a garden and you go to the garden and have lunch? You go out there with a salt shaker and you have a, a tomato or two and maybe if you got some of those, have some of those. I mean, it's just a, a wonderful place to garden. I don't have a garden now. It's kind of hard to have a garden here in this apartment. But that's, um, that's okay. That is okay, guys. Excuse me. There we go. Get this bubbling good here. And this will be served with whatever kind of rice you want. If you want to do long cooking rice, do long cooking rice. If you want to do minute rice, do minute rice. If you want to do the rice that's already cooked in the little pouch, do that. Um, no judgment here, I'll tell you that. There is no judgment right here. I'll sit there and steam out for a minute, get some more moisture out of that pan. And man, this is looking good already. See how fast this went together? You can be having this, you can be having supper. I would be willing to bet. I don't have to bet, I know, because I've done it. You can be having supper. 30 minutes from when you walk in the door. I'm not, and I'm not kidding you, that you saw how fast this went together. And really all these ingredients, except for your main core, is optional. So also, I have, I'm supposed to have soy sauce. I gotta have some soy sauce in there. And that's about a quarter cup as well. So we'll put that in there. We'll call that good to stir it around a minute here. Yep, this is a really fast one, a really easy one. And it's pretty versatile. You can put whatever you want in there as far as vegetables go. Okay, another Salvation Army find. Um, you can see there's a sticker for $5.49. Now I looked this up online and it tells me that um, this is Cuisinart from the 1980s. And I think it's um, probably, I don't know, probably eight quarts or something like that, but it's, it's got a really heavy bottom on it. It's got a real thick copper plate in the bottom of it, and so I thought this would be a great pot for making soup or chili or boiling something or whatever. So for five dollars and forty-nine cents, it came home with, me. and there she be. So there we go. Now. If you want this sauce thick, you can mix up some cornstarch slurry and put in, now I don't even have any cornstarch here, I wouldn't do it to show you, but I don't, uh, but that's what you would do to, to, um, to thicken this up. But it really, it really, I mean, it's okay. It really doesn't need to be thickened up. It sure smells good. So let's go ahead and put our, our veggies in here. I'm using the back of the knife, guys. The back. All right, top camera here died. So, and the other battery was not charged. Yet. So we got a we're about done here anyway, so okay, so there's that, so it's looking good. 
I need. Uh, doesn't that look good, guys? Doesn't that look good? So there's your sweet and sour sauce. And you can put that over anything. I mean, literally anything. There it is. That's about as um, quick and easy as you can get. Oh my goodness, look at this. Mm. I love it, guys. <clears throat> I've had this many, 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 many times. It's a good on the fly meal, it's a good meal. You're cooking with fresh veggies. And look, it's just chunks of uh, chicken. Yeah, it's good. That chicken's really good, guys, for frozen chicken. The uh, put this together and put the chocolate fudge brownie, the embellished chocolate fudge brownies together. So be sure and watch that one too. I appreciate you, and I'll be back before you know it. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.